Hey, hey, what's up, fellow model train enthusiasts? This is Lone Wolf 777 broadcasting from his home in California today. I got a special treat for all of you who are passenger train fans and all that alike, and as, as well as Santa Fe Railroad fans, like I am. So by now you probably know what this coach probably looks like, right? I mean, it looks like a high-level coach, right? Well, it is. This particular high-level coach is the El Capitan train run by the Santa Fe until the late 1980s when they discontinued the rail passenger service and Amtrak took over all passenger service of all railroads. This is a late representation of the El Capitan train when it was still around. So let me show you what exactly that entails. So let's go over the details first. This is made by Intermountain uh, Model Trains. Uh, I'll put the link in the description to give you an idea of where to go and find it. I installed KD-158 couplers, as you can see here. Uh, it's got various details such as grab irons, uh, stirrups, uh, you know, the diaphragm doesn't work. Uh, I'm going to have to take this off and change it because uh, with other coaches you need to have a working movable diaphragm, which this is not. This is only like a static display. Uh, you've got other various piping details all separate. Uh, right here, here, uh, <clears throat> so let's move around. Again, you got the stirrups, grab irons, one, two, uh, you got the coach level, uh, coach seating level up here. Uh, I'm going to install LEDs in this if I can. Uh, the air conditioning vent. Okay. And... Ta-da, you got Santa Fe right here. Coach number is 532. You got the passenger door right here. Grab irons here. Uh, <clears throat> various other details. Pretty sure that's where you put in fresh water for the coach to be able to have uh, clean drinkable water or something. Uh, other various vent details. <clears throat> Now this is the part that is able to connect to the high level part now. Um, so you got other various details in, installed here, all separate, uh, except for the diaphragm, I believe. I'm going to have to, well, I mean, the diaphragm looks separate, but I'm going to have to uninstall this uh, diaphragm thing and go with the uh, one that is able to operate. Uh, again, KD-158s. Uh, I painted them silver to match the car. In the photographs that I have of the real cars, all the couplers are painted silver. Uh, Santa Fe took very big pride in that. Uh, so you also see that, uh, again, this is where you would be able to walk through to the other high-level coaches. Uh, it wouldn't be like right around here like this. Let me try to Okay, there we go. Okay, so this is actually where the passengers, if they wanted to get up to the high level part of the coach, this is where they would go through. There's a stairway all the way up to where you can just have the coach, you know, be able to be seen by all these rows of seat. Um, well, anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Comment, like, subscribe. And yes, this one's going to have a makeover. It's going to have a lot of um, passenger seating there and all that stuff. I'm going to try to install some LEDs and stuff. Uh, so there's other stuff that's going to be done to this car. Um, well, anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Comment, like, subscribe. If you've got any questions, throw them down in the comment section below, and I will try to get back to that as soon as I can. I'm very busy with trying to get a lot of other projects done that have been on hold for quite a while. Uh, well, Lone Wolf 777, broadcasting from his home, signing off. See you down the rails. Peace out.